Tata. What the heck, dude? Why would you cut the artist? Dude, the way that thing whips, for a second I thought I was at a, a takeover. One of those, you know, takeovers. You're yeah, right? yeah, like a takeover. Man. Is that a Hellcat? The exhaust is dragging. Uh, was it dragging before we started? Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty low. Right. Well, let's just take the doors off now. We, you know, kind of clouded you out enough, yeah. I think. I started drifting. I was out on those stupid takeover things. Was the parking lot on fire? It was. It just was on fire. What the hell just happened? That's how it happens on the internet, dude. That what happens on it. It just I happens. Didn't hit anybody? No. Oh, I wasn't that one on the guy. street. I was in a. I was in a private parking lot, so I didn't hit any people. Wait, are we gonna put a thing? Because I went. Oh, and I did that. Yeah. And so should I say? Well, you hit that one yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you hit Wait, that one guy. I did. Oh, I did hit one guy. Yeah. Okay. I just got a really scary call from my brother, so I'm racing up to his shop right now. And let me know, would you trust your brother if you got a phone call like this from him? He goes, hey, what do you think your Hellcat's worth? And I threw out a number that I think's fair. And he's like, what? Offers me a third of what I said. So I'm like, all right, what's this guy scheming? He hangs up, calls me back 10 minutes later and goes, Hey, where are your other set of wheels for this car? Knowing that I have my really nice set of wheels on it right now. And I'm like, God dang it, what are these guys up to? Like, come on. And so I tell him where my other wheels are at. And he goes, we're just going to do a little maintenance on it. Hangs up, texts me a little bit later. Hey, you mind if we drive this thing? So now I'm like, oh my God, what's going on with this car? Because I've actually got plans to bring the Hellcat back to life. Like Goon Squad style. They get a car that's wrecked or in rough shape, they fix it up so it's prime, and then it's like a trophy for their collection. What the frick are you guys doing with my car, dude? It's an inside cat now. <laughs> you know how people have outside cats? <laughs> Yours is an inside cat. We're making this seem like a derby car or what? Um, I don't know. It's just, I wouldn't leave it out in the rain now is all I, that's all I, <laughs> I love how you came in filming. <laughs> I had a feeling something was up, dude. <laughs> Gary calls me and goes, hey, uh, what's this thing worth? And are your, well, I heard you're trying to sell it. On it or? I heard you're trying to sell it. What do you think of the exhaust? Yeah, we you drove it. Like that? We drove it. Is it still for sale? Yeah. I mean, what do you want? What do you want to get? We're for not it? interested with it. <laughs> This I've got to figure out the condition. Uh, go <laughs> Dude, 
I kind of like it like that. It's, it's, you know, like, yeah. for the good time of year to have I mean, off. I left the bolts in the cup holder, and all you need is some butt connectors. and <laughs> I kind of miss the Jeep life. <laughs> yeah. Doors off, good weather. I figured, you know, we could have Zach put some connectors on this, and then you can quick disconnect. Oh, the that bars. was nice. You cut that? <laughs> Yeah. What the heck, dude? Why would you get the harness? Well, I mean, how else was I supposed to get it off? Was I supposed to let him hang? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I told him it was terrible. <laughs> that is a lie. You were, <laughs> that's a lie. Who that? Who cuts the harness? Well, it can easily be fixed. You know, I was like excited yesterday. I was thinking to myself, this is going to be a resurrection. I'm going to bring this in, like, make it perfect. <laughs> Dude, really? well, if yeah, you're going to make it right. perfect, you may as well buy a brand new Hellcat because this thing is. <laughs> this thing is <laughs> this really, shot. This is the one that really hurts right here. <laughs> yeah. That's no big deal. Were they sparking or anything? No. no that's no big deal. Right, well, My boy Zach, good. dude, throws a connector on that unit. On it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we warmed it up and we put power steering fluid in it. It did need that. Ooh, looks it did. I think it shot it back out. I think you had a rat in there, to be honest. Oh, with George in there? Yeah, George chewed up some of your carpet. So. <laughs> Definitely can't keep these. Yeah, I believe those in there. Yeah, we... Uh... What oh, we by do? the way, the back tires are shot on this thing. You know where those oh. tires are from? Uh, my C7. C7. Yeah. Oh. From like 2012. Now I don't feel nearly as bad. <laughs> 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 I gotta see the video for this. What were you guys doing? Did you do this to my bumper too? No, your bumper was like that. <laughs> don't, even, don't even try, bud. Yeah, the wires thing, I'm not super proud of that, but I, I figured if you want to be able to put them on and off. This was definitely not like that. We have documented proof it was like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to put them on and off, now Zach can just build you a little connector. He's I thought you were going to do some like, nice uh -huh. maintenance to it. Well, this is nice. We're airing it out. Yeah, it smells horrible in there, so we're just airing it out. <laughs> it has as many packs of cigarettes as Miles on this thing. Yeah, you know? well, now it's an inside cat. <laughs> Just as I expected, Garrett and George got a hold of the Hellcat and took the doors off of it. They call it the inside cat since it's an inside car now. But look at the damage he did to this thing. First of all, he melted my tires, melted my rear bumper cover. The exhaust is ruined. The bumper cover was like that, exhaust was like that, and those were my tires. Eh. This, <laughs> I did damage the wiring car. Yeah, dude. Now I now my check engine light is on. It was never on before. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my boy Zach put a quick disconnect on those wires. So yeah. when you want to take the doors off, <laughs> it's easy. And then I was thinking I'll even get you a set of Jeep brackets so you can just. <laughs> hot, hot. We're doing you a favor. <laughs> it's just the perspective. You know what I mean? I went from trying to restore this thing back to like perfect to this is what I have to start That's with now. Not what do you mean? It's really not that far off. I mean, yeah, the hood sticks up a little bit. She's got some miles on her. Yeah, I mean, you would need, I think to get the cigarette smell out of it, you would need a nuclear bomb. Well, no, that's pretty easy. That it's up. a moth bomb. Yeah, I mean. You're looking at $150,000. In damage. <laughs> Existence. <laughs> so, you, know, you may as well go to the dealership, buy a new Hellcat, leave this one here. We'll take care of the inside cat. I'll, I'll make you. For right I'll now. make you great. I'll make you a better offer. As is with the wheels that are on it and the tires, George's red truck. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll give you one, one chance offer. This is our highest offer. Hold on one second. Twelve thousand. <laughs> Dude, get out of here. Without the engine and is trans. It more than that? Is it worth more than that? I mean. Dude, the engine is completely had, built. If it had doors, I would probably Where are pay, the doors? It'd probably pay 30. But because it doesn't have doors. It literally had doors on it three hours ago. The doors are outside. Oh, cool. Outside cat. Well, if that's the case, yeah. we're charging 18 grand for the gas we put in it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it is filled up with gas and it does drive good. You just need to put some tires and doors on it and you're good. All right, all right. Stage one, getting this thing back to life. I'm going to be taking the wrap off this car. We also got a few bo body. We also got a few body panels. We got to fix. We got to fix this rocker. We got to replace the rear bumper cover. We got to tighten up this tail light going around the car. We got some PDR to do. There's a couple dents here and there. 
And then uh, we can move on to the interior, which is pretty much absolutely wrecked. Needs a new airbag, new center console lid. We gotta do something with this mount up here. But the powertrain's good, the powertrain is strong. We know it can rip, so uh, let's get this thing looking good. Well, we spent about 30 minutes taking the wrap off so far. The red looks so good. I'm so glad I'm taking this wrap off. Can't wait to get it all freshened up and looking clean again. But also today I'm gonna to be taking the exhaust off because it's literally dragging on the ground. This is the current situation of the exhaust here. It's literally dragging on the ground and hanging on by one hanger right here. So I think I either gotta cut this hanger or unbolt it and then this whole piece should drop off. The plan for the exhaust is to get a new one built as soon as I get a new rear bumper cover on the car. And I can't do that until I get the wrap completely off and these rockers off. And we'll start piecing it back together. All right, got the exhaust off the car. I'm gonna throw this in the dumpster. And then we're gonna have someone else finish getting the wrap off this thing. Let me lower it back down. That's nice. I kind of like the red. Definitely needs some doors, but I kind of like it. So this is the comeback of the Hellcat. If you guys like this content, more Hellcat content to come. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next one. Look at that focus face. What are you going to make it? <laughs> <laughs> Tom's Takeovers are for idiots, dude. You know what we have? Cleason cars. You can come do legal burnouts. We just released our schedule for 2024, and we just put the Freedom 500 and Cleason cars on the schedule. Tickets are on sale now. So our first burnout event of the year is live now. You can buy tech cards to come participate in your own car. You can buy tickets to come watch it. We're gonna do drag racing and burnouts on Saturday. So we have the Freedom 500, April 5th. You can buy tickets for that now. And then April 6th, we have a burnout contest and a drag racing. So you can buy tickets for that. You can buy a tech card, come do burnouts in your own car. All that stuff is live now on thefote.com slash Freedom Factory. You guys don't have to go to your nearest stoplight to do some burnouts. You can come out to Cleason Cars, do some burnouts in a burnout pit surrounded by thousands of awesome people. First event of the year, right around the corner, like I said, April 5th and 6th, the Freedom 500 in Cleason Cars. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.